Today we're talking about DRA files or project archive files, what they are, how to create them, and how to load them back up in DaVinci Resolve so you've got a full project ready to go and start working with. So let's talk about what is a DRA file or a project archive file. It is essentially the DaVinci Resolve project and all of the media and everything you need to load it back into DaVinci Resolve. Now, why might you use a project archive file or a DRA file? Well, for example, you may want to give a whole project from one person to another person. In my case, in my new audio class, I created a DRA file that had everything you need to follow along with the course, provided that file to you guys, and I'm going to show you how you can load that up in this video. Oh, and if you're looking to learn more about audio, link in the description below to my new class, Audio Essentials for Video Editors. So let's start by jumping into Resolve. I want to show you how to create a project archive or a DRA file, and then how you can load that back up in Resolve, have everything there in the project, and then you can get off and start working. So first, let's talk about how do we create a project archive or a DRA file. So when you're in DaVinci Resolve, currently I have no project open. You can have a project open or not. It doesn't matter. But what you want to do is have your project manager open. So this window right here. So I'm going to come down and find the project that I want to make a project archive of. So let's say I want to do this one right here. Never assume it will work, which is a short. I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to come down to export project archive. And by using export project archive, it's going to gather up everything you need for your project. And then you'll be able to send that to somebody else. So all of your media, everything you need, it'll have all that to send to somebody else. Versus if you only did export project, you'll just get the DaVinci Resolve project file. So whoever you send that to would need to already have all of your media and all of your assets for your project. So we want to use export project archive. When you do that, it's going to ask you for a place to save it. I'm going to put it in the project folder that I created on my hard drive. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now, when you hit save, it's going to pop up this window here and allow you to select whether you want to include the media files, the render cache, proxy media. That's up to you. Typically for me, I'm going to include the media files, but nothing else. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now if I go look on my hard drive, we can see in my folder, I have a, another folder called the name of the project dot DRA. And this is going to have all of my media files, my project file, everything I need in it to reload this project, either on my machine or on somebody else's machine. And if you click in the media files, you can follow the paths down and find all of your footage, your audio, everything that you need. It's all right there. So now how do we load this back up in DaVinci Resolve? Now, if you did pick up my course, this is what you're going to get when you download the practice files. So you may get your files in a zip format, kind of like this, to help compress it down when you send things around to other people. And in the case of my course, this is how I packaged it up. So what you would need to do is open that zip file. I'm just going to double click it. It's going to get unzipped for me. And now you can see I have a .dra file, which should have everything I need to load the project up. So now we're going to jump back into DaVinci Resolve. And I still don't have a project open yet, and you can or you don't have to. It doesn't matter. You just need to have open your project manager right here. Now, in my project manager, I'm going to come in anywhere where there's, you know, no project. Like, I'm not going to click on a name, but just in open space here, I'm going to right-click and choose Restore Project Archive. Then you're going to go navigate to wherever your DRA folder is, which is right here in my case. I'm just going to select that top-level folder, and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hit Open. Resolve is going to go ahead and load up that project, import everything, create the project. Then I'm going to be able to open it up and see what's in there. So now looking in my project manager, we see right here is the name of that folder that we selected. And we can just go ahead and open that up in DaVinci Resolve. So now we're here in DaVinci Resolve. The full project is here. I have all my bins. I have my timelines. I've got the full project here. Everything is here I need. I can just start working on my project. Or if you're following along in my course, you can jump into the different timelines and follow along really quick and really easy. So loading up a DRA file is really easy. And you might want to use a DRA to be able to send projects to somebody else, move a project to another computer, because it just packages everything up really nice and really easy for you right in DaVinci Resolve. And then you can just load that back up on a another machine or a friend can load it up and you're good to go. You can just start working on your project. So that is project archives and DRA files here in DaVinci Resolve. If you've got questions on it, comment down below. I'm pretty good at getting back to you and answering any questions you guys might have. And if you want to level up your audio, make it sound even better so people love the audio in your videos, you might want to check out my Audio Essentials for Video Editors course. Link down in the description below. You can check that out, see if it's interesting to you. And if it is, you want to learn a little bit of audio, it's an option for you to uh, level up your audio skills. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.